need to get in the Word to see what the Word will say, and He will give you what you need. Elijah is here. There is something particular about this passage of Scripture. The Bible says that when that He is to put water on the trench, and when He puts water on the trench, the fire. Oh, God. When he put water on the trench, uh -huh. for some reason, the fire was going to consume the water. Now, if you go home and you light a match, I guarantee you, if you put a little piece of water on it, it's going to go out. Atomically speaking, water and fire never mix. And water always puts a fire out. But the Bible says that when God would move on Mount Carmel, he would put the water on the trench. And the power of God would move so that fire would take the water out. I don't know about you, but God has a way of stepping in your situation and sending fire from on high. I don't know who I'm preaching to today, but some of you have been going through some stuff. And if you haven't been going through, you're about to go through. And if you haven't about to go through, somehow or another, something going to hit you. But God sent me to tell you that he's going to send fire in your situation. Somebody shout fire. One of them and the God who answers by fire then we shall know that he is God Lord have mercy God for some reason knew how to show up in the least favorable of situations God has not forgotten you. Right. Even when you thought you were disqualified from a miracle, God still knew how to turn your mess into a miracle. Because he never goes back on his word. People may leave you. Folks may talk about you. People may lie on you. But God never forgets his word. And all you have to do is take the word to the word. And when you take the word to the word, to now I want you to hear Acts chapter 2 yeah. uh -huh. and when the day uh -huh. somebody say the day. the day there is something special about the day in scripture you'll find it three times number one you'll find it in Genesis the Bible says as it was in the day of Noah yeah. so shall it be in the day of the son of man number two you will find it in the book, in the book of Acts for the day of Pentecost. Number three, you will find it in Revelation when John begins to talk about a day, a coming of the Lord. Joel the prophet began to write about the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord will be the day in which we begin to literally see him back on the earth again. So whenever you see the word the day in scripture, it is symbolic to me that something amazing is about to happen. Oh, I'm glad that the psalmist said this is the day that the Lord has made. Which means that whatever Of fire, there came 
a sound yes, sir. from heaven uh -huh. like of a wind. Uh -huh. And then the Bible says, on the day uh -huh. of Pentecost, there came a sound. Can I tell you one fact about sound? There's something about sound that I love. Uh -huh. Whenever you make a sound, it never leaves a room. That's right. Come on. That's right. Whenever you make a sound, there's a vibration that locks within the wall. And geologists will agree that the sound never exits the room. You leave the room, but the sound stays there. You leave the place, but the sound stays there. You go home, but the sound stays there. So when the Bible says that a sound came, it meant that the walls began to shake because something began to happen. That's why Jesus said, if you don't praise me, you ain't got to praise me because the rocks are fire, because there's a sound Ha <laughs> ha! 
something. When this power showed up, the very things that were impossible were now possible. The natural became supernatural. The lost became found. The sick became healed. Because somebody knew what to do when power showed up. Lift your hand a little bit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come on, talk to the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come on, open your mouth, talk to the Lord. Come on, talk to the Be worthy to be free. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the sand. The name of the Lord is worthy to be free. If you want to see fire, meet me in the room. Healing is in the room. In the room. Yes, sir. Jesus sir. is my God. Yes, he writes out all of my mistakes. He gives me all of my mistakes in the room. Wherever you need me, wherever you are, whatever it seems like, you're the step when you least expect. Hands lifted.